Alaba carnage. Negligence and recklessness claimed lives of two young ladies. NNPC declares 3.3 trillion profit for 2023. Welcome to Akai Update. My name is Joseph Iyaji. Intensive tutorial for students preparing for post TME, pre degree, school of nursing, and JUPEP entrance exams is currently in progress at Akai Tutors Ileife. Akai Tutors is located at number 67 Odudua College Road of Sabo Junction, Ileife. Should you are interested for accommodation, reservation, and enrollment, you can contact the management of Akai Tutors on 080-38644328. Thank you. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC Limited, has announced a significant profit of 3.3 trillion naira for the 2023 fiscal year marking a notable increase from the 2.54 trillion profit reported in 2022. This announcement was made by Pius Akiye Lure, chairman of the NNPC board, during a media briefing on the company's 2023 audited financial statement on Monday. Akiye Lure highlighted that the 749 billion rise in profit underscores the company's financial resilience and strategic foresight. This positive trend is a stark contrast to the losses posted in previous years, with the company recording a loss of 803 billion in 2018 and 1.7 billion in 2019. The turnaround began in 2020 with NNPC posting a profit of 287 billion naira, followed by 674.1 billion naira in 2021. For details, on this update you can visit latestgist.org or akainews.org a devastating accident in calabar cross river state has left a trail of death and destruction claiming the lives of two young ladies and leaving two young men critically injured the incident which occurred at the mobi by MCC Junction in the early hours of Monday, August 19, 2024, raises serious questions about the safety of our roads and the recklessness of drivers. According to eyewitnesses, the victims were returning from a friend's birthday party when their vehicle, a white GLK 350 formatic Benz, crashed resulting in the instant death of two young ladies wo fai and bella the two unidentified young men were who were also in the vehicle are fighting for their lives in a in an undisclosed hospital the fact that the victims were affiliated with the cross river state College of Head Technology, Calabar, makes this tragedy even more heartbreaking. These were young lives full of promise and potential, cut short by the negligence and recklessness of others. The cause of the accident is still unknown, but it is clear that something needs to be done to address the carnage on our roads. The authorities must take responsibility for ensuring that our roads are safe and that drivers are held accountable for their actions. This tragedy is a wake-up call for all of us. We must demand more from our leaders and from ourselves. We must work towards creating a society where the value of human life is paramount and we hear negligence and recklessness are not tolerated.
rest in peace wofai and bella may your soul rest in perfect peace thank you for joining me in this segment of our news headline my name is joseph yaji and this is akai update